This feature demonstration highlights the new VMware focused features of the EMC Networker 7.6 release. We'll start with a quick overview of what is new in the release and then do a short walkthrough of the product to actually show you the new capabilities. Networker 7.6 brings several enhancements for VMware to make backup and recovery for the platform more flexible and easier to use. It continues support for vSphere 4, VMware's latest release, and now with Networker 7.6, off-host backup is more powerful, eliminating the need to use Networker integration module and script configurations with the VMware Consolidated Backup, or VCB, protection method. Now, a single backup captures the data and information necessary to enable both full image and granular file level restore. This means you no longer have to set up two types of backups to recover one way or the other. With these changes, it is also now possible to perform incremental and differential backups when doing proxy-based backup. This results in time and resource savings for networker customers. For all VMware backup types supported, including these new capabilities, deduplication backups are available through Networker's integration with Avamar. And finally, for VMware, Networker's visualization feature has been enhanced with new visual grouping of backup clients by backup group and also new display of the relationship of virtual machines to the VCB proxy host. Now let's drop into the demo. We can zoom in here to show the visualization feature, and this is a result of Networker's integration with vCenter. If we hover over the ESX server, Networker shows all of the VMs belonging to that particular host. And as you move over a particular VM, you can see the operating system, the types of backups that are configured, along with group and safe set information. This particular VM has a single backup defined for it as a client, and it happens to be a full machine backup via VCB. The new white box encircling this particular file system backup indicates the backup group to which it belongs, in this case a group called VMware. To show which particular proxy host is backing up this particular client machine via VCB, there's a new icon here that provides the name of the host along with a unique icon that represents that it is indeed a proxy host. Next, if we look at the properties of the proxy host, you can see that it has application information specific to a VCB setup. This includes information about the host, where the VM data will reside on the proxy, and how data is moved to the proxy server. Our VMware group is defined, and now let's look at the configuration of the backup client itself. If we call up the Networker Configuration Wizard in Modify mode, we can walk through the options. The information here will correspond to what we saw in our visualization map. It's marked as a virtual client, and so our VMware backup options are present in the configuration workflow. Here is where you can choose whether you'll run a traditional backup from the guest or do a VCB proxy backup. If we look at our VCB options, here you'll see the choices available, including the new image level backup with file recovery. With 7.6, this is available for the Windows platform. By selecting this, when we run a backup, Networker will capture everything necessary to restore the machine image, as well as individually restore any file or files from the VM. Here is a summary of our setup. Next, let's run a backup for our VMware group, and then we'll show the recovery scenarios. We'll select and confirm the backup start for this group, and let it run. The backup set is now complete, so let's bounce over to the Networker User Recovery Program. Here let's start with the image recovery. This is accomplished as a safe set recovery. So if we open the window to look at our full VM safe sets, we have three to choose from. Notice it shows as browsable because in fact you can also select files from this full VM image. But here we'll put back one of the backups from 9.16. And for recovery, there are two choices. We can recover to a staging location on the same ESX server, which is what we'll do here. But we can also restore to a place on the ESX or VC server. We'll select a folder with the name temp where we'll recover the machine image. Once we start the recovery, Networker restores everything that makes up the VM and reconstructs the complete machine image. When successful, you'll see the completed message that says construction of virtual machine finished successfully. Now let's go look at our temp directory uh, where we did the restore. And here we'll see our full VM. This is coming in at about 5.9 gig. 
Now this is a key capability for disaster recovery of full machines or other purposes where you wish to restore or recreate an entire VMDK image. Next let's have a quick look at granular recovery out of the same backup. We'll select our source, the same client for which we just did image recovery, and the destination, which is again to the original client. We can now browse the file system to choose what we want to restore. We can pick a folder or individual files, but here we'll open up and pick a folder containing several files and start the recovery. This will conclude the discussion on VMware Backup and Recovery with Networker 7.6. To recap, Networker 7.6 simplifies management and backup and recovery for VMware, delivering improvements in the user experience, as well as providing new, more efficient backup and recovery capabilities with off-host VCB type data protection. Thank you.